guys welcome back to the channel today we have something serious to talk about so if you're here i want to believe that you're nigerian and that you're in the diaspora or at least you have some business that is not in nigeria that has brought you to this video because it clearly states that this is for nigerians in the diaspora okay so welcome 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 please put in the comment section where you are you in canada uk wherever you can type it or you can put your flag just put in the comment section so that we'll know where we are and where we are dialing in from or where we're watching from okay guys straight to the topic i told you guys that this one is going to be a very serious stuff it's important but um it's something that has to be said okay and i've decided to say it because not a lot of people are saying it so let me even say it so that if i die tomorrow i will know that i said this one okay now let's dive into the topic of discussion you guys already know what is happening now if you're nigerian you have lived in nigeria and you have left <laughs> you already know the situation of things in nigeria a lot of us blame it on bad governance um bad leadership and all that all politicians are ruining the country but this is our responsibility everybody to make things right in our circle that is how it starts we're not going to sit down and be waiting for for government people politicians because clearly they're not going to do it okay now what is your role what is my role we know the situation of things like i mentioned now is a good time why do i say now is a good time so talking about now being a good time will make reference to the current situation of naira <laughs> i don't even want to be sad so i'm not going to dwell on that one but you guys already know that now it has never been this bad i mean one pound to about 1700 almost 1800 naira is a lot of money it's something to be sad about but here's the thing there's this example that i always use you know that tree that is in the compound that maybe when you're sweeping your compound is dropping down leaves and littering the whole place and you're upset that this tree is just costing you so much work but eventually that tree is the one that you go under for shade now this is what i think that this our situation can be yes it's not a good thing yes it's bad that our, our currency is dropping in value but you as a nigerian in diaspora you can use it for your good for the good of the country for the good of the people you've left in nigeria and for some of us that will say oh i don't have anybody in nigeria okay oh nigeria is still your root whether you like it or not when you're thinking about your root gone gone the heart of the matter you will still think of nigeria why do you think that when news like oh remember when hilda cooked everybody celebrated oh nigeria when you hear that uh, when you hear nigeria is playing a football game even if you don't watch that game and you hear that nigeria won you celebrate even if you don't celebrate you smile when you see other people celebrating it's because you care about nigeria whether you like it or not so what am i even saying in essence i've been in groups where people talk about nigeria and it's just all bad news or there can nothing uh, or there's nothing that can be done nigeria can never be good in our lifetime <clears throat> nigeria is just going to be worse and worse we hear you i hear you i've seen in fact i don't like to even engage just in those kind of conversations because it always leads to arguments and people you know just throwing insults up and there but this is what i think that you should do right there in fact there are a lot of things you can do but you can't do all i'm not saying i'm doing all in fact i cannot even do all right but let's discuss let's tell ourselves the truth something can be done one do you know that people are outside nigeria and investing in nigeria but we nigerians don't see the need to invest in nigeria now when i say investment please don't log off and say ah how can Jane advise me to go and invest in Nigeria when she knows the situation of things? Security is rubbish and all that. There are so many things that you can invest in Nigeria that doesn't have to be you erecting buildings, you being there. Security is, is crap. That one, we can't even lie about it. Security in Nigeria is not, it's nothing to write home about. But there are people investing. Do you know there's this company that I came across last year? It's a data company. It's called STEARS, S-T-E-A-R-S. And what it do is provide data for like people who want to invest in nigeria they have like data in different industries that you can go through if you're thinking about investing in nigeria that is something that you can look into now this is something that somebody thought about and established and like okay people that are outside nigeria may want to have information before they even come in to invest and has created a company that is doing that guess what serena williams your star serena williams invested in that company three over three million dollars now she puts inside that company because she sees 
the potential that Nigeria has, the potential that the company has, okay? There are so many people that have come um, into this realization and have started things. People that startups are popping up. There's this one I came across some days ago. The girl, Tia, I think she's called. Tia Taylor. Yeah, she's a content creator. She created one called Cabo. Yeah, Cabo. And that one is like, it's like a travel agency or consulting where they help people that are trying to come into Nigeria by giving you like, um protection and all that not protection not security let me not go and say what i don't know but they kind of make it easier for you if you're coming to nigeria um to have like a protected space do things for you i'm not even advertising all those things but i'm just telling you what people are doing these people live outside nigeria but they see the potential that nigeria has nigeria has numbers and you know one thing with um places that are not so developed developing countries is that it has potential this is what people are seeing. This is what the Chinese, that you people are running about and saying, why is Chinese taking over Nigeria? This is what they have seen. And they are coming to Nigeria to invest. Now, I am not saying leave the country that you are in and go back to Nigeria. I'm not saying do that work. Or that is not what I'm saying. That is not even what I plan to do. I do not intend to go back to Nigeria, to relocate back to Nigeria anytime soon. But I'm just bringing this here so that people will know that there is a potential for you, if that is something you're thinking about, I know there are some people that will never invest in Nigeria. There are some people that is not in their interest, and that's fine. But this video is like a push to those who have been thinking about it because there are people thinking about it and wondering if it's a good move. This is your encouragement to research and go ahead with it. One, you can invest in Nigeria. Like I said, please don't go and erect buildings because they could just bomb them. Security is still very shitty, okay? But you can invest in other things that don't even require your presence right people are partnering with people in nigeria to do things that they want to do so if you know you cannot be there but you have the resources like i said this is a good time because the small money that you have if you convert it to naira is big money right so this is a good time to invest because the small money that you put in can yield money to you or for you okay so this is another thing that people are considering I don't have to put in so much money. Do you know what £1,000 can do for you if it's something that you're thinking to do in big scale? £100 alone, say, if people are partnering with people and bringing £100 because there's people that, that are doing small, small things in Nigeria that just want help with capital and all. If you get somebody like that, again, please do your due diligence because when I know our people now, they just don't put money away. <laughs> the money will come out again. But what I'm saying to you is like something that you need to be thinking about. If you have thought about, oh, what can I do for Nigeria? What can I do in Nigeria? What can I do for myself that will yield me profit in Nigeria? Now is the time. People are starting stuff. People are partnering with people to do stuff, using their money to do things in Nigeria. Do you know that data says that um, over 20 billion, I mean, in 2022, the results for 2023 is not out, but over 20 billion Naira is what Nigerians in diaspora send back home. But this is used for like small, small scale businesses. So maybe you're sending money to your family, you're sending money for them to build a house, you're sending money for someone to go to school, you're sending money for them to train someone outside, like abroad in school, you know, stuff like that is over 20 billion us dollars i don't even want to imagine what the figure will be for 2023 considering the number of people that left nigeria and people that are sending back money home or, or sending money back home so this is something you should consider if people are sending money home then there's potential there okay so if you're a business inclined or you're the entrepreneur that is looking for something to do now is the time to start thinking about it think about it and think about it well do your research and do your due diligence please don't throw away money because money is hard this hundred pounds that i've mentioned is a lot of money it's a lot of hours to work to get that money but if you're looking to invest now is the time if you're looking to partner with somebody now is the time if you're looking to invest in people now you know all those people that you probably grew up with in your streets, in your area, right? That you know this person is working hard. You know that this person, they try, but they just don't have the capital. You take it as your CSR. Let it be your community service. Let it be your personal service. Train that person in something. Some people want to do data analysis, um, software development, robotics. It's not even expensive to get trainings for this. Do you know that a hundred thousand, somebody can do like a two months, three months course and get these skills. Pay for somebody that will learn this and the person can even create something for you that will help Nigeria, that will help us. So 
think about it there are people looking for help in terms of capital there are people looking for um sponsorships there are people looking for partnerships if this is something that you are inclined to do if this is something that god has put in your heart if you've thought about it at any point this should be your ginger that yes people are doing it i'm telling you people are doing it maybe if you guys are interested i can even do like a compilation of businesses that people are starting up in nigeria that as in nigerians in diaspora starting up businesses in nigeria to help the country to give them profit because do you know that your one thousand dollars or your one thousand pounds can yield you money that would double you know nigeria now you guys if you've done business in nigeria you know that you can recoup that money sharply because of the number that we have so if you even put one thousand you say oh let me even put one thousand and you make that one thousand in a couple of months you don't already recover your capital every other thing that comes out after that is profit and you just did a chill you don't have the crazy tax system that we have outside because trust me when you want to set up a company in nigeria let's say you want to go big big and do a proper company setup the tax that you pay in nigeria is nowhere near what you pay um when you're outside if you structure it properly if you do your research properly and structure it properly your tax will be reduced so think about it is this something that you want to do now is the time to start considering it if you have somebody that you want to train or somebody that you can just you know invest in their life because see eh, one thing that can give you joy is giving like being a source of happiness to other people so if you have somebody that you remember at the top of your head now or you think about it and someone comes to mind that oh this person they try you make i even pay for it. now a lot of people will tell you they want to do content creation even if you don't agree with um, content creation being something lucrative buy them something help them take a course something that will just benefit somebody that when they get these skills they can put in and yield something that will also benefit others imagine training somebody that now creates something and has to employ even if it's two more people that they employ in their company that is progress and it's thanks to you okay it starts with us it starts in our circle okay i had to say this because like i said if i'm not talking now you go to scratch my mouth so i've come here to say and i'm going to um keep saying it from time to time because i know that some people want to do this but you just get discouraged because someone just randomly throws nonsense talk around and says oh there's no need to do this nigeria is just done for it's all over in nigeria it can never be better if it's in your mind to do it please go ahead forget about naysayers some people will talk even when you start doing good people will still try to discourage you but if it's in your heart just go ahead and do it okay now for people that are going around discouraging people if you're not going to do just keep keep your mouth shut please let people who want to who want to do things for the country do now i'm not saying don't advise your friends if you have your facts right you have your data right don't just go around and say you sit down and you're like mm, nigeria nigeria are not go better beg a beg a beg no even bother yourself waste your money leave them money not be your own because guess what a time will come god keep us alive a time will come you will want even if you don't want to relocate permanently you will want to visit that nigeria we all say we want to give our children better lives right some of these children will find their way back home whether we like it or not they will wake up one day and say they are going back to nigeria they are going back to africa there is nothing you will do to stop them they they will make up their mind see just think about it a lot of you will not agree with what i'm saying and that's fine tell me your own opinion you think i'm talking rubbish please let me hear your opinion i know some people will agree i know some people will not agree and that's fine but like i said i just wanted to say this here for someone who has been thinking about this this is your ginger this is your nudge that you're going in the right direction there are people doing it there are people that will have a lot of good from doing this and there are people that will benefit immensely from you doing this so rest in that fact that you're doing good not just for yourself but for your country okay so guys thank you thank you thank you this is me talking about my dear nigeria because see me i'm nigeria till i die till the day i breathe my last i am nigerian so that's why i just decided to do this video and um yeah if this is something that you agree with please share with others um you don't know who will help it will help my channel if you share the video um yes it will help my channel but more than helping my channel it probably is something that someone needs to do that thing that's in their mind so 
you never know who you're helping with sharing this video thank you guys if you have not subscribed please join the family by subscribing right we'll have more conversations not about nigeria but immigration generally nigeria faith god and all those conversations that are going to be helpful to you okay i'll see you guys in my next video until then bye guys